few weeks really. Uh, no, I don't think so. I, I don't think it means more. Uh, it just, it just um, like I say, it sort of shortens a window for, for that happy emotion where you, you know, we can just come back and you know, despondent obviously with going 16 points down and uh, you know, we, we, we show some courage just to stay in the, the fight at that point and then come back and win it is it's deliberation obviously and uh, really happy and just ultimately it's a, it's a tough competition to win games and it's a tough place to come so we're happy to win uh, but we, we've got loads of people going down 12 when Gareth Willard got sitting in and so many times we've seen sports but besides let them go down to 12 don't draw the eye galvanised by it we, we, how pleased we to see that happen and put the second spot to the side of the climate yeah um, yeah I think at that time, we just um, made our first change in the second half and um, sort of realised that the two the, the stalwarts were all stupid. We were just going back and had a time to ask. We needed one of them on the field at all times because they sort of all down the middle of And we were just making that change at that point. And, uh, obviously, we, we lost the for 10 minutes, but then we got um, a big little bomb on at that point. Um, we got ourselves a little bit of momentum back in the game and we managed to keep one of them to on the field for the rest of the second half and you know they're them to it very very tough at the minute and we're asking them for an awful lot of, uh, of minutes and, and, and stuff uh, for the team that, that they're uh, ripe all day but two uh, tough, tough blokes and we need them on the field as it stands. Saw so a couple of debuts today in each other game and stuff like that. Yeah, how much do you play that to some? Yeah, Ben did a good job when he came on. Uh, we need to, we need to obviously find a way to use him the best we can. But you know, you know what we get with his friend is um, he's a hard-working middle who's, who's coming to, to help us kick us out so that we don't have to bleed um, Bob and Andy to death like we are doing at the minute. Um, so as, as he gets more, more familiar with how we play, he will be able to take a little bit of load off them. And we thought he did all right for his, for his first goal. Um, and obviously Charlie. Charlie um, sort of dipped his toe in a little bit at the start and, and sort of tried to find his feet within the group um, and I challenged him a little bit uh, through messages to uh, the world and then at half time to just commit to, to, to carry the ball really aggressively and hard and I think in the second half we saw that and we got some, we got some reward for his, for his aggression and his carry and started to put dints in their line and without, without coming out of the other side. Your ideas innovative. Our teaching is goal breaking. What yeah. about yeah. my co-host? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you have never done this. But the thing about you, you know, I, I think you always do raise your, your jaw to see the question. You know, the arm over here. And as the question goes on, the eyebrows raise as well, just to get the enthusiasm going. And from here, the next stage is probably the false side. That's it, man. So the Prime Minister for a general election for the amount of setbacks. So we've got. Reaction live yeah. in the street mm. here from the party leaders of the summer. Yeah, Master Impressionist John Coswell is here. Plenty of things to celebrate, John. Dead Ringers um, is on tonight. It's very right. even, yes, we were recording the show last night from the alternative endings, depending on which way the um, mm. election went. Absolutely right. We had to cover those off, you see. And happy 40th anniversary, of course, to Spitting Image. Yes, indeed, indeed. So much has